there's no one right answer to why this thing is interesting. If you're a, a theologian, there's a lot of like visionary theology in it that really might turn you on. And so, you know, one or two of our annotators are very much speaking from that perspective, which is, you know, not, not my own angle of attack. If you're a fan of him as a novelist and you care tremendously for his, you know, his seminal work, the, the, mostly the writing of the early and mid 60s, you know, the, 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 the center of his accomplishment. Well, there's a chunk of this that's going to fascinate you because he's, he's, among other things, he's interpreting his own novels. He suddenly looks back at his life's work and says, and says for instance, uh, Ubik or uh, The Man on the High Castle. Wait, these might be the key to everything. And so he starts reading and, and, and interpreting his own book almost as if uh, it was written by someone else, as if it were a piece of apocryphal um, source material. So those people are also represented by another couple of annotators, including myself, who are speaking as uh, obsessive fans of his, of his literary writing. Um, there are philosophical angles. There are moments, not as many, where he basically goes into speculations that would interest people who are turned on by quantum physics, by, you know, uh, impossible models of time and space and how they fit together. Uh, you know, all of these things are present in this, in this book and, and might compel different people uh, for different reasons.